96.7 WBDK, Jason Polachek here today with Dr. Nicole James from Center for Optimal Health in Sturgeon Bay. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming. Now, first of all, what is the Center for Optimal Health? Tell people where they can find it and tell me a little bit about you and, and who you are. Thank you. Well, the Center for Optimal Health, we are located in downtown Sturgeon Bay on 3rd and Michigan Avenue in the uh, historic Fairfield Building, second floor. Um, we've been around for about three years. We are a, what's called a functional, nutritional, and preventative medicine clinic. All right, break that down for me. Okay. What does that mean? So, uh, many of you probably haven't heard of functional medicine, though it's, it's getting uh, a lot more press now lately. Dr. Oz just actually did a, a, a show on functional medicine. And functional medicine takes a little bit different approach than traditional medicine, but it's very science-based. Uh, functional medicine, you're looking at discovering the underlying cause of symptoms rather than just treating symptoms alone. So we actually look at how the body is functioning in the systems of the body. And we look at very specific testing. We do nutri nutritional testing. Um, we look at your vitamin levels. We look at your toxicity levels. We look at comprehensive hormone panels. Really, you come in with an issue that you could come in you know, to your traditional doctor, but we ask the question, why? Instead of what you know, symptoms do you have, what name do we give it, and what drug do we give you, we ask, well, why are you experiencing that? What's the underlying dysfunction in the body? And we bring that back to health by looking at the specific tests. Now, is this something that you do um, in lieu of a doctor, to replace a doctor, hand-in-hand hand with a doctor? Um, it depends. Some people choose, you know, to go the completely functional route, um, and sometimes we work with, with doctors um, in, in providing um, the support for what they're doing with their traditional doctors. And that is Dr. Nicole James on the second story of the Fairfield Gallery right on 3rd Avenue. You've got an exciting new program. Yes. They've um, just begun. Yeah, we actually, we're calling it the Cancer Thriver Program. So, um, you know, there's many cancer survivors out there, and it's fantastic. But we, we don't want you just to survive cancer. We want you to thrive with cancer. And this has been in development, you know, over the course of the year. I'm really excited about it um, because we just launched it in the last few months. And we're providing a comprehensive program for people that have been diagnosed with cancer, um, whether they're newly diagnosed or they're going through the traditional route of, of, of treatment, um, or they've you know, finished their treatment and they want to support healing the body. Um, I have a great a team of support with me. So when patients come in, they, they initially they meet with me. I go over their full medical history. We spend a lot of time together listening to the patient's story. It's a very personalized approach. And then I determine what testing is necessary. Um, then they'll meet with our certified health coach, uh, Gail Horkman, who um, is an expert in um, treating cancer with nutrition. She has a very personal experience. Her husband actually had stage 4 melanoma and was given months to live. Um, and 10 years later, he's just thriving and oh, wow. he's the healthiest he's been his, his whole life. Now, you say you decide what testing needs to be done. Uh, if someone has, is in mid-process or has been dealing with this for quite some time, they've obviously had a lot of testing done. Yes. Is yeah. it that testing, or is it specific no, to what you do? It's very actually, it, we're looking in the tests that we run, we're actually looking at the quality of health in the body, not necessarily looking for disease. So traditional medicine will look for disease, they'll find the cancer, they'll diagnose you, but then we take a look at, okay, what's going on? How are your cells making energy? What's the kind of damage or inflammation in the body? Where are the vitamins and minerals at? And we need to support. When you give the body what it needs, it actually, you know, you can support the healing process. And how does that change when you've been diagnosed with cancer? I mean, I'm sure the normal, normal human body is uh, producing these things. It has the vitamins and minerals. How does that change once cancer enters the equation? Well, cancer, what, what research has found is that cancer is, is more of a metabolic disease, meaning that the cells are having difficulty making energy. So we're looking at very specific markers that have to deal with that, and we support um, the certain um, things in the cell that give the body energy. Um, and if you can support the, the basic functioning of the body, which is the, the cell, um, then the cells can actually produce normal cells instead of cancer cells. What's the first step in doing that for so, you? So, you know, looking at the tests and supporting the body, but another key um, part of it is actually the diet therapy. So when you do meet with the health coach, um, we use what's called a ketogenic type diet. And the ketogenic diet was actually, uh, has been around since actually the 1920s. There was a German scientist um, named Otto Warburg that discovered that cancer cells have a preference for glucose. 
And so you can actually effectively starve cancer cells by removing glucose from the body, which is sugar. So our diet therapies involve a very high fat, healthy fat, um, moderate protein, and very low carb diet. And we can actually effectively starve the cancer tumors. Um, these, t this type of diet therapy um, has a lot of research behind it um, to be actually more effective than chemo and chemotherapy and radiation. So you're essentially starving the cell, the cancer cells, of what they need to grow. Yeah, we're blocking off its food supply. I Interesting. Mean, yeah, it's fascinating, and it works, and you know, without side effects, which is great. So that's the first step. You get the diet. Yeah, so you yeah. get in, you get the testing done, you start meeting with your, your health coach, um, and then we also offer what's called IV vitamin C therapy. And IV vitamin C is basically we're putting a high, high dose of vitamin C actually intravenously. Um, and that has been found, again, a lot of research behind this to actually be able to shrink tumors, just that alone. Um, so we have a nurse practitioner on hand um, that you see her once a month. Um, she does the high dosings of vitamin C. Um, and by, by, by putting it through the vein, you're actually getting a much higher dose than you could ever do by just taking vitamin C orally. Um, but cancers have been found to, uh, cancer patients, uh, be very low in vitamin C. And so we can support um, vitamin C. It can actually, in a high dose, not only support the healthy cells, but actually preferentially kill cancer tumors. And what is the difference between taking vitamin C orally and the intravenous? Why can't you get as much as you need orally? Well, if you were to try to take a high dose of vitamin C, you'd probably be in the bathroom all day. Okay. <laughs> so you bypass that. When you bypass the gut, the body doesn't have to break it down. So it goes right in through the bloodstream, and it gets absorbed by the tissues right away. And if someone is in the middle of chemo, in the middle of therapy, how, do, how does the diet, how does the intravenous... Yeah, so, see affect them. yeah with, with people that are already going through the treatment, um, actually IV vitamin C has been able to, um, the research has found to, be, to make chemotherapy more effective and, radi and the protection against the healthy cells more effective in, in radiation uh, patients. Now, some of the, the supplements and things like that we can't give you know, people that are going through the traditional chemotherapy, but we can support them with diet and with the IV vitamins. But that is the personalization of this program. Absolutely. Yeah, and then we also have a, an amazing energy worker because the mind-body-spirit connection is very important. You know, um, understanding you know, um, how to deal with the stress of, of, of having that diagnosis. There's a lot of fear around around it when we get that diagnosis and we want people again to thrive with this and a lot of times patients will come back and say you know what I'm I'm grateful that I had this diagnosis because I'm healthier than I've ever been in my entire life and that's what we want to do here. You know, it makes you pay attention to what's going on I'm sure. Absolutely. We're talking to Dr. Nicole James about the Cancer Thriver program at the Center for Optimal Health. We're going to take your phone calls if you have questions feel free to call 746-9430 and ask Nicole James yourself on 96.7 W the mind-body connection. How important it is to be mentally strong when going through cancer treatments as well. Absolutely. I mean, the mind can tell the body what to do, really, in a nutshell. So if you believe you can be healed from cancer, you can. You know, um, cancer. You, you know, it, victory over cancer is really a, de a decision. You know, it's not a happening. So if we decide, okay, we're going to beat this, then you know we have the tools to support you. Um, and Kathy McCabe, she practices what's called access consciousness. So it's a type of energy work where you just lay on the table and she just touches points on the head. And it gets rid of our kind of subconscious belief patterns that could be holding us back and preventing the body from healing. It's a very relaxing experience. Um, you feel very grounded and peaceful. Um, because keeping stress levels down, you know, the stress of the body having to deal with cancer and then the stress of dealing with that diagnosis. And a lot of times dealing with the people around you. Sometimes the, the person that has cancer ends up kind of babysitting and, and telling everyone else it'll be okay. Right, absolutely. So, you know, dealing with the mind-body connection is very important in healing. So you meet with her um, twice a month as well as part of the treatment. And uh, you, you've talked about your infrared sauna quite a bit on the shopping show. You've got certificates on there. Yes. Um, that plays into this as well. Tell me how the infrared sauna helps in the treatment. Well, you know, 2,000 years ago, there's a Greek physician that said, give me the power to create fever and I will cure any disease. And, you know, with cancer cells, you, cancer cells are a bit weaker and more susceptible to damage from heat than, you know, than our normal cells. 
So if you can actually selectively heat up these cancer cells, you can destroy them. And there's actually Harvard Medical School did a study on this, that infrared saunas can selectively heat and kill cancer tumors without damaging normal tissue. Do we know why that is? I know that uh, I remember from health class when I was a kid, uh, the HIV virus is also very temperature sensitive as well. Uh, why are these cancer cells in these different diseases so temperature sensitive? Is well, it in the makeup? Well, yeah, because they, they have these abnormal cell growth patterns, and so you're kind of playing into the weakness of just a, a runaway cell. Um, so, you know, with the infrared saunas, not only are, can you help support killing the, the tumor cells, but you also are eliminating toxins, which is a huge part of, you know, supporting healing the body. In an infrared sauna, um, up to 20% of the sweat that you sweat is actually toxins, versus a regular steam sauna that many of you out there are familiar with, only about 3% is, is actually toxins. So you get a much deeper detoxification experience. It also enhances circulation, and then that can actually benefit pain a lot too. Tell me real quickly the difference between a regular sauna and an in, in infrared sauna, and I know I say every week that it works on three levels, you know, the, the mid-range, the deep, and the the shallow level. Yes, uh, I'm glad you know that. Uh, a full spectrum. That absolutely. Yeah, we probably you know might have heard of far infrared. You can, um, you know, find those around. Um, but this is a full spectrum, and infrared basically penetrates your skin. These wavelengths actually penetrate through the body and heat you up from the core. Um, and the different wavelengths go to different areas of the body. So the far infrared actually goes the deepest. It heats up the body. It, it basically breaks open the cells and to release toxins. Um, the mid part of the spectrum goes to the tissue. So um, anyone out there that is in pain or with arthritis, um, it can really help support um, healing the tissues and reducing inflammation. And then the near part of the spectrum actually goes to the skin region. So it can actually help with wound healing, skin rejuvenation, um, and it makes you feel great too. That's a great thing about it. Again, that, that relaxation aspect that we want to continually bring forth for people that are dealing with cancer. And on a side note, it's good for weight loss too. I see that I, I sat inside the infrared sauna and you can actually watch the calories burn as yeah. you sit there. Yeah, this has a biofeedback on it so you can wear that around your chest and it can actually monitor your heart rate and the amount of calories you burn. And believe it or not, you know, you can't actually burn as much calories as getting on a treadmill. Um, so, you know, we don't use that as a, you know, the only um, thing for weight loss, but is a great adjunct to actually sit, relax, and watch your body burn calories. Now, during the commercial break, we had a phone call about whether this works the same way for arthritis. We've touched a little bit on the infrared sauna, um, uh, yeah. the program itself. Absolutely. Again, in functional medicines, okay, well, many, many people deal with arthritis, and there's many types of arthritis out there. But again, why do you have arthritis? What's going on in your body? Does your body need more essential fatty acids like omega-3s or fish oil? Are you lacking vitamin D? Um, is there certain foods that could be aggravating your joints? So it, again, it's a very personalized approach. I don't treat anyone the same, um, but, but we look at what's, you know, what's the underlying issue um, or what the underlying cause of your issue. And I think it's important to say, as he called and said, could this Cancer Thriver program work for arthritis? This isn't all you do. No, 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 no. So we have, you know, wellness programs. So if you, again, you have any issue you're dealing with, say, you know, high cholesterol, um, hypertension, diabetes, you know, arthritic issues, migraines, anything like that we use functional medicine for. Um, and really the great thing about functional medicine is that you're, you're, Figuring out what's the body missing, and you're giving it to the body. You figure out what what does the body you know have that it doesn't need, and you get rid of it. So in lieu of treating, say, your arthritis, now your energy levels are up. You're sleeping better. Um, you're able to exercise more because you're in less pain, and your overall quality of life improves. Excellent. So we've talked about with the Cancer Thriver program, the ketogenic diet, the intravenous vitamin C, yes, um, flooding the body with vitamin C in the infrared sauna as well as the mind-body connection. Um, where do you go from there? Yeah, so really I've developed a, basically a six-month protocol. So you're coming in every week, you're either meeting with me, you're meeting with your health coach, or you're meeting with your energy worker, you're meeting with a nurse practitioner. And the feedback I've gotten from our cancer patients is they just feel so supported. You know, there's a place to go. And a lot of times for cancer patients, maybe the traditional route didn't work for them. 
you know, and now they're kind of stuck, okay, in limbo, what do I do now? You know, I don't really have an option. You know, I had a cancer patient that had went through the chemo, did the surgery, did the chemo again, and the chemo almost killed her, and the tumors came back. And Freighter said, okay, we'll do more chemo, and she said, no, I, I can't, you know, I'll die. And they said, okay, well, we'll see you later. You know, what do you do? Where do you that go from there? Yeah, so for people who choose to go completely alternative, we also have a medical doctor in uh, the Milwaukee area that um, treats cancer alternatively as well. So they need to have a medical doctor. We send them there, um, and we have the nurse practitioner here if they need any prescription support. And that medical doctor is in Milwaukee. Tell me a little bit about uh, your background as a doctor. Yeah, so I am not a medical doctor. I'm a doctor of pastoral medicine and science. My background actually came from California, um, graduated from UCLA in, in psychobiology and medicine. All right, break that down for me. <laughs> so in psychobiology, we're looking at the, um, you know, really how the mind affects the body, um, the effects of drugs on the body. So I learned, you know, early on what, you know, how drugs affect the body and how I didn't want to use drugs in my practice of healing. Um, and then I went on to graduate school in traditional China. Chinese medicine and herbology, and then I did post-grad work studying functional medicine under physicians in Los Angeles, um, and when I came to Wisconsin was when I um, studied nutrition. And that, all of that being used in not only the Cancer Thriver program, but um, any issue that you have that you want to see what all the options are. Yeah, and you know, we make it very affordable for people to, um, cancer is a big business, you know, um, there's a billion dollars of, of resources that are, you know, used for treating cancer, but not for preventing or curing cancer. Um, the average cancer patient spends about $50,000 um, on their cancer treatment. Um, some chemotherapy drugs cost anywhere from three to $7,000 a month. Um, so, you know, we have financing programs available that make it very affordable for people to come in and I'm get talking about the Cancer need. Thriver program. Um, from s start to finish, it treats the body, treats the mind, and gives you some alternatives to you know, chemotherapy or can work in hand in hand. Absolutely. I'm going to find out exactly what people can do in just a moment. Good morning. You're on Ask the Experts. Good morning, Jason and Dr. Nicole. Good morning, Gigi. Well, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Uh, with skin, skin cancer, the number one thing, that, the first thing I would look at is your vitamin D levels. Um, and especially up here in northeastern Wisconsin, our vitamin D levels, um, most people I test are between 20 and 30. Um, with anybody with a history of cancer, and particularly skin cancer, we want to get those markers up between 80 and 100. So that, that is the first and foremost thing to do for skin cancer. What type of skin cancer have you had? Okay, so probably a squamous cell or basal cell? Basal. Basal, okay. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, in 1975, there was a doctor that did studies on cancer patients, and they found that um, cancer patients have very low levels of vitamin C. So coming in, getting your, all your vitamin levels checked, including your vitamin D, and then we can actually, I can custom formulate a multivitamin, multimineral based on all your levels. How would the infrared sauna play into that? Does that help with skin cancer at all? Yeah, I mean, with cancer, we want to support detoxification of the body, so infrared saunas are a great way to enhance detoxification. Absolutely. There you go, Gigi. Thank you so much. It's been a great show. Excellent. Thank I'm you. Glad Thanks for calling. That's Gigi. We love Gigi. Aw. Okay, so someone's listening, like Gigi. Yes. And uh, she says, this makes sense to me. This is something I want to pursue. Tell me from today, step one. What do they do to start this program with you? All right. Well, the first thing I would recommend is to go on our website. Our website is DC, like Door County, Optimal Health. Dot net, dcoptimalhealth.net. Um, there's information on, um, just click on the new patient tab, and there's a lot of background, how to get started, uh, patient handout information, all of the forms 
are there to download and fill out. Um, we are we do a very extensive consultation, so the forms are quite extensive, probably about 20 pages. We have you fill out on your background, your medical history, your environmental history, family history. Um, and then gathering your medical records is really important. I want to see what labs have been drawn on you, um, you know, with cancer, anything that's been, you know, done with your cancer, um, you know, lab work, um, biopsies, anything like that, um, any chronic issue, you know, if it's a chronic issue, I want to see the last, you know, definitely the last few years, if it's something that's an acute issue, you know, basically in the last year, but I would need to have those medical records um, before I, you come in for your appointment so I can get a good background on what's been going on. And once again, this isn't necessarily in place of, of if you're going through chemo, you can do this in addition. You Absolutely. can heal the body. Yeah, I mean, because, you know, once you go through treatment, great, the cancer's gone, but, you know, you're a different person. You're tired, you're weak, you know, your hair has fell out. Fell out. Um, you know, you really want to support now healing the body, and that's what this medicine can do as well. Nicole James, it's been a great program. I've learned a lot. Thank you. Hopefully Thank you so much for having me. And we will speak more to Nicole James in the future. If you have questions, you can go to DC Optimal Health. Net. Yeah. Or pop into the Fairfield building, 3rd and Michigan, 2nd floor. And people can just come in and yeah. kind of pick your brain a little Absolutely. bit. Absolutely. We have in. a lot of information about the program up there as well. Yeah. Thank you so much, Nicole. Thank you.